All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goring Guitar. Very, very nice song here from Dennis Lloyd. I believe this is the first time he's here, and I just came across this song called Reasons. And if he does songs like this, he will probably, will certainly be back here on Goring Guitar. Beautiful song here. Has this pattern of picking his hair based upon four different chords. We'll look at the melody and the strumming, and that's it. So let's start this great song and hopefully tutorial on Dennis Lloyd's reason. So let's take a look at this one with the chords. No need for any cape on this one. So we have the four chords B minor, A, E minor and F sharp. So first off the B minor, that's a bar chord. You place the bar here on the second fret and it's all strings bar there except from the last E string here in the bass. So five strings from bottom up and then you have to add the fourth on D, fourth on G and third on B. Next chord is the A, so that is open A, second D, second G, second B, and open E. E minor next, so that is open E, second A, second D, open G, open B, and open E. And the final chord is the F sharp, another bar chord. You bar the second fret, this time all strings, and then you need to add fourth on A, fourth on D, and third on G. So there you have the chord progression. It goes like that from the beginning till the very end. Now let's take a look at the notes here, and we're gonna go chord by chord, starting with the B minor. So the melody goes there like this. So you hold the full chord as it is, and then you're gonna play second on A, fourth on D, fourth on G, third on B, then fourth on D, and then you play the second on B. So you have to release the third B string to get the second there from the bar finger. So slowly. Next chord is A, you hold the chord as it is, and you're gonna play this parts. So that is open A, second D, second G, second B, then back to second D, and open B. So release that to get it open. All right, next chord is the E minor. And uh, for this chord, you don't have to hold the full chord. It's just enough to hold the second fret on D string. You're gonna play this part. Sorry. I slept on the string there a little bit. Anyway, you're gonna play open E, second D, open G, open B, then back to second D and fourth D. So you need to reach out here on this side, and I suggest that you do that fourth D with a little pinky. All right, I'm gonna explain soon why, but that is uh, my suggestion here. So, like this. It's hard to play it slowly, but anyway, that's what you're gonna do for E minor. And why the pinky on fourth D? Yes, because you need that for the next chord. So once you land it on the fourth D there with the little pinky, you just keep that and put the rest as the F sharp chord. You see? So it's a little bit fluently there. It goes easier if you just keep the little pinky there and go on the F sharp chord. So Final chord, F sharp, hold the chord as it is, and you're gonna play this part. All right, so that is second on E, fourth on A, fourth on D, third on G, then back to fourth on A, and then you have to reach out with a little pinky to get the fourth G. And uh, why do you go with the little pinky down on fourth G? Uh, because that is the best scenario, because the next chord, this is the final chord in the melody, starts all over again with the B minor, and then you have that pinky there for the B minor chord. So you see, you make it as easy as possible for you to reach out to the next chords and be kind of um, 
uh, effective in the way of playing these chords. So there you have the melody here. I'm gonna play it through for you from the beginning, B minor, A, E minor, and F sharp. Uh, a little bit slower than standard tempo, so you'll really hear and follow what's going on here. Let's go. Yes. So, there you have it. And uh, I can also mention here from the A to the E minor, that is this grip here. I keep my index finger there on the A, the second fret D string, and just hold it there for the E minor. So you see even there we have this way of um, playing effectively to uh, reach out to the next chord and kind of um, um, have a great path through this uh, melody here. So B minor, A, E minor, and F sharp, that's the corporation. And now let's take a look at the strumming pattern here, if you want to combine it with this. So we're going to use the B minor, that is the first chord, as example here. And the strumming pattern goes down, 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 clap, down, down. So three downs, clap, and then two downs. That's one round, like this. So three downs, then clap, and then two downs. A couple rounds of it. So you're gonna play one string around per chord, and you can do that through the entire song if you wanna skip the melody. And it goes like this. Anyway, Dennis Lloyd's Reasons, nice song, very nice song. So um, have a good time with this one. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please um, give me some feedback on this tutorial and support me here on Gordon Guitar. Till next time, play tuned.